Welcome to our first lesson. Now in this lesson, we'll be looking at introduction to integrated signs. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe signs and technology, list the major branches of signs, distinguish between pure signs and applied signs, and finally, list some careers in signs. Now, signs has to do with the study of the structure and behavior of the physical and the natural world through observation and experiment. So the key words in there is first off, it's a, it has to do with um, a study and the study of their structure and the behavior. So we look at how are things organized in terms of their structure and how do they behave. So we look at their behavior as well of living organisms to start with. And it has to do with the physical and the natural world. So physical, it has to do with the things we see. So the physical world and the natural world, things that abound in nature. Through the two key words that are of interest here is observation and experimentation. Now these are very, very important in our definitions for science going forward and everything that we would apply the scientific principles to. Now, technology, on the other hand, has to do with the practical application of scientific knowledge to solve problems. So whereas science is looking at the structure and behavior and their study, the physical and the natural environment, what technology does is it looks at the application. So technology is more of an applicative science. So uh, a practical application of all the things that we learn in science, or all the things that we can apply it to. And we don't just apply it and sit back, but they are applied with the aim of solving problems. So the aim in there is to solve problems, or to manipulate the human environment, or to change the physical conditions around the people and their surroundings. So whereas science has to do with the know-why, technology deals with the know-how, in that science is interested in why things occur the way they do, why things happen the way they do, but technology is looking at how things are done. So how are cars made? How do we develop vaccines? How do we develop drugs to combat diseases? That is in the realms of technology. So science will be looking at why do pathogens cause diseases? Why does rain fall? And all the other whys that are associated with the scientific phenomena around us. There are a number of branches of science. So in some jurisdiction, you have so many different branches of science depending on um, what you want to look at and under, under them. But for the purposes of this syllabus, we have two main branches of science, pure science and applied science. So pure science largely looks at um, uh, the, you um, using observation and um, describing um, natural phenomena and living organisms that exist or abounds in nature. So some main examples of the pure science, uh, geology, um, botany, zoology, all these ones are under the realms of pure science. And when it comes to the applied science, we look at how we apply all the concepts in pure science to um, further the advancement of science to a large extent. So for applied science, we are looking at engineering and uh, medicine as some main examples of applied science. Now, there are a number of careers in science. After studying science, you can become uh, or end up in a wide range of professions. The first is 
becoming a science teacher, you study, acquire knowledge, and communicate and teach it to others. And by that, you become well-versed in a subject, so much so that you can teach others. That's primarily what science teachers do. You can also be a marine engineer or any other form of engineer, chemical engineer, uh, computer engineer of a sort. And this ones look at the applicative aspects of science. You can also become a doctor, a medical doctor, a veterinary doctor, also a biochemist or an agricultural engineer. And they focus a lot more on the agricultural science as a component in integrated science. More interested in the, um, the farming and the fishing and all other things that are associated with crop production and animal production. And also the tools and the machinery that we use to grow and develop these agricultural produce. Now, an assignment. After this first lesson, we want you to name five other careers in science besides what we've just mentioned. Okay. So in this lesson, we looked at in introduction to integrated science. We've seen the definition for science involving ob observations and experimentations to understand the physical and natural world. We've also seen the definition for technology, which is the practical application of scientific principles in solving day-to-day -day problems. We've also identified the two main branches of science, pure science and applied science. And then we've identified a number of careers in science. In our next lesson, we'll be looking at the scientific method. See you in the next lesson.